Hey, it's been a while. Not really. Um, you know, everyone's doing social distancing and isolation, and I feel awful. My meds are barely doing anything uh, to keep me sane. So I figured I'd show you guys, um, I guess a little vlog about me and Heidi doing us things. As you can see, it got to me. She had the side of my head. You know, typical stressed, oh, give yourself a haircut thing. Let's see what color I end up dyeing it later on. Alright, here we go. Alright, I tried to turn on the kitchen light and it won't turn on. So this is some stew I had to make and figure out um, ingredients for because all the hoarding Karens bought out the Costco dog food and it's not like I can go to the actual store and not order online. So he's eating a turkey stew. As balanced as I can get it. He's sensitive so he's been having trouble with omegas in here. I'm going to be putting him on a can of Wild Coast which would be sold up the street for me so I hopefully won't have that problem ever again. And then here's Heidi's pre-made bra. Uh, I can't remember the company but they're located in London, Ontario. They're really good. Um, I just add to it. So I stabbed this already. Here's my omegas. Squeeze it like a bunch of times because if you squeeze it, too, squeeze it too hard one time, you'll break the capsule. And then they both get turmeric. So I can do this with one hand. I think of about, where's my camera? I think of about this much each. Like that. And Coda. Coda doesn't really get to have a ton of all the extra cool supplements. This one's an anti-inflammatory. And, uh, you know what turmeric is, you know what else. Which would be better for him than, um, you know, not giving it to him. Open the kelp. This, um, this is an actual brand name. Hold on. This is Big Country Raw Thrive Kelp. Yeah, so I'm doing this next to my dish rack. It's not really a, a, a better place to do. So they each, according to the thing, need two and a half a day. So I do one and a half in the morning. Yeah, Coda's is still frozen. I'm really bad at thawing, but Coda doesn't seem to mind. I always um, soup their food, so I add a lot of water. So I make sure they're hydrated. Closing with one hand stuff. And there we go, they're all souped. I'm going to feed the dogs, but because I'm having sensory issues today, I'm not going to stand there and record them slurping. So, next clip will be outside. I'm at least glad I can go outside. Could you imagine if we couldn't? Like, I hear some places aren't even allowing people to walk their dogs. I'll take you full. Yeah. I'll take you full. Wait a bit. Now I gotta watch because he'll jump right in front and get whipped with the ball. Watch. Oh, he didn't this time. Drop. floor pole I made. It's pretty neat. I didn't like to play with it, but she gets bored pretty quickly.
I think I'll have my own house at some point eventually so I could do way more with the yard. Because, uh, like, it's small. It, like, it, it's good for them, but, like, you know what I could do? She now has the flirt pole and she's making a break for it. I'm gonna just. Yep. Take that back. doing things okay so I'm gonna show you my office uh, this used to be a storage room oh, it's so windy out this used to be a storage room and it's been taking me a while to kind of get everything gone if that makes sense so here it is I'm probably oh, probably not doing any of these video ideas but here's my whiteboard I've got more crates than I know what to do with so I need to find spots for those. This is Crunch's carrier because his bed's like 40 minutes away. I like to keep a litter in there so he can go. This is going in the garbage right after the garbage truck picks up the garbage. This is an end table we don't know what to do with either. So I just kind of put it here for Crunch to sit on. And I got one spot, one spot for litter, two spots for litter. And this is my recording area. I usually make Heidi stand up here and I stand, I'm starting to stand there. There's my ring light. This doesn't stay there. I put this here so it can like be out of the way. And then here's my, um, here's my recording area for uh, voice and um, editing. I've also been so bored that I actually made Heidi and Coda collars and leashes. Hold on. Is Coda's collar. I wish I had green thread because I think it would look much better than the white. But that's Coda's leash. I mean, oh boy, this is Coda's leash. I don't know how long. I'd assume it's close to four foot. This is Coda's collar. He's getting it on his birthday with a new tag. I'm waiting for the tag to come in the mail. This is uh, Heidi's collar. She doesn't get it yet. I don't know when to give it to her. Maybe the same day. Uh, yes, I have a puzzle tag. Sue me. Um, this I have purple thread for, so you see, you can't see the thread at all. And then, uh, same with the leash. You can't really see the thread at all. The leash is the exact same size as Coda's leash. I think they're cute, personally. Right, Crunch? Yeah? Converting a storage room into a room sucks. That's all I gotta say. You know, looking at how awful my channel's doing. Pretty awful. Right, Heidi? Yeah, she's my girl. This cat, man. This cat is going after her freaking tree jar. Where is it? There. Tree jar is driving me up the wall. He ain't getting it. No way. No how. So, actually, what I was going to do is, um, I'm Canadian. Canadian Kennel Club. CKC. You know, don't, don't, don't at me. I was going to work on actually filling out the application um, to register Heidi with the partners program because I do want to do things with her. Cat stealing the treats. I want to do things with her. Like right now, I got to pay for them, but we have passed, um, not passed, but we got to advanced trip title. Right, Heidi? Did you know that tasks count? I didn't. I do now. Like, really helped. So I need to fill this form out. I don't know if I can do it online, because, like, we have a pen. Like, I could actually do it if they'd allow me. But, yeah. Um, so far, she's trick dog, advanced. You can't get in the jar. I don't know if I'm going to continue with the trip titles, but you never know. So we've decided that Heidi's uh, registered name is going to be Howl in the Wind, call name Heidi. It's going to be sweet in my opinion. Uh, then we're going to hopefully do CGN, which is like CGC for the states. 
I don't know if she could do Rally simply because of how stubborn she is. I could give it a shot. Like, there's nothing that could really go wrong with it. I just don't know if I should bother. As you see, it's 24 US dollars per trick title, and I've done three. Three? So it's going to. Be I can't do math, I can't do numbers, but it's a lot because you also gotta convert to Canadian dollars and it's just gonna be 30 something, I think, per trick title. But I think it's worth it and I could add that to Heidi's CKC. I'm just realizing now I'm not very entertaining. I'm kind of boring. Hey. Focus. Hmm. We're doing a quick break from Walmart, but we're here. There's a lot of rules set, put in place and nobody's following them, so I've been stressed. She's getting a quick uh, potty break. So thank you for sticking through our vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If if you liked it, please hit like and subscribe. I try to make videos as much as I possibly can. Um, until then, I'll see you next time.